All right. Hey, collective. How y'all doing out there today? Now, guys, <laughs> when I clicked in to make the video, it was 10, 10 on the clock. Now, before I clicked in the video, I had checked my uh, TikTok notifications and I uh, got 1,444 uh, subscribers now. Now, I've only been on TikTok a little while, so, you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers over there, but I do notice that my watch time and my views is really getting up there, y'all. So, maybe some of you guys are really experiencing that. And these angel numbers is confirmation that these are happening for you now. I keep saying 111, 10, 10. Fo fo. I'm talking about these synchronicities is beat me in my head, y'all. And y'all been seeing them come out in the car. And just know when you see these things, that's for you too. Pay attention to what spirit is trying to tell you at this time, y'all. Alright, now let's see. I think I actually want to see what's the energy before I pull any oracle cards just to see what's going on. It's going to help me determine what cards I want to pull. Now, I have done so many pre-shuffles, y'all. Now, this is crazy. I'm telling you, the synchronicity is freaking wild. Look, you got three here. You got three here. And you got three here. And this, in my opinion, is you moving on from heartbreak to a celebration. And right here, whatever's been paused, it's going to now be a wish fulfillment that's coming your way. Something that you've been waiting for, patiently waiting for, is about to come. It could be relationships, but however, that love is, does indicate any type of union. Collaboration. All right, now let's see. We're going to pull from the next deck. <laughs> this to see if the theme is consistent. Now you got the wheel there with a victory. The wheels is turned in your favor. Offers communication coming your way. And this is quick. There go another offer. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> That's an offer. That's an offer, boo. That's an offer. This is something that's going to be long-lasting. That page of pentacles. You know the pentacles is slow, but they stable. Now, I was just talking about four, four, four. Now, there goes your four right there. Now, three and four. Something is really going into alignment. There goes the communication. Clarifying it with the queen of swords. Some decision being made on your behalf. Now, I don't know what these two people got in cahoots. And I don't know if they're the same people. <laughs> but they've been showing up together lately. A lot. Maybe there's somebody liking what you got going on, but I want you to be on 18. Now let's see what's coming out these. Then we're gonna pull from some oracle and clarify them. Now you got the king of wands here. The 
like the strength part. I don't know what this is about. Now you got the dreamer. With the seven of swords. To the page of pentacles. To the five of wands. Now, this could be competition. I really do see this as haters. I really do. I see people sulking. I told you, this is a, I don't know if I said it in this one, but it's going to be a lot of people sad to see you go, your departure. Because some of you guys are really going to be leaving communities, people groups changing your circumstances spirit say I'm telling you cotton picking truth even relationships you're really going to step into who you are you ain't playing with these people no more I told you you got new booze coming and there's going to be a lot of people looking at you <laughs> in the life that you lead wondering how you did it boo that you stay consistent. Okay. That's about to change right there. Spirit about to change that frown upside down. A lot of you guys' hearts are healing. Yeah, you're working on yourself. Baby. Balance. Yeah, pig swords. Didn't want to go back in, but that's you learning something. All right, good. You got the king of wands flying out the deck. The wise council. I think he's relevant because he came back. However, this is about learning something. This having a logical perspective, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. And it says, view all documents very carefully. Documents. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a need for you to tap into your intuition in regards to documents as well as people. The new people that's coming your way. And you got 9 9 here. And this may have something to do with documents. However, I see a lot of you guys being offered other collaborations, friendships, dates, outings. Now, this is so crazy. Maybe me pay attention to this Nine of Pentacles, and this is telling you to protect what you created. Be prepared to never give up. Ask the angels for help. And this also talks about activism. Yeah. Now I think a lot of you guys might even be starting your own businesses. Non for profits. I told you I keep hearing Eureka. My George, I think I've got it. I keep hearing it. Somebody's gonna come up with something. Now let's pull from these. This the six coming out. Now we got retribution coming out.
sacrifice and love. Now it's something. In regards to the way those cards just wanted to jump out all out my hand. In regards to this retribution and this sacrifice. And it's love. Now we know that retribution is all about being righted your wrongs. And this sacrifice is telling you not to sacrifice yourself to appease others. However, I, I think in this instance, this retribution has a lot to do with trying to sacrifice you. Your freedom, your rights, your legacy, your desires, your intuition. And this retribution is the number eight. This year. And this 13 is all about those cycles. The highest vibration. Those completions. Evolution. And this is you. Your divine, your feminine, and masculine coming into union. Whether that be just you by yourself or with someone. Your heightened abilities with that number 11, the high priest and high priestess. And this is so crazy because this is 29, which is an 11, to the 13 and the 8. And this is all about this year. Love. The highest vibration. And this is what they have been trying to sacrifice, y'all. This connection. The divine feminine and masculine coming into union. The respect that we have for one another. Raising that vibration with love. Tapping into who we truly are. Yeah. They about to pay. And they are about to pay. I'm almost like wondering if this the book because I'm like, where is the word? <laughs> Really? Listen. I guess this this not meant for me to read from the book today, y'all. Alright, let's pull a couple more. And we'll put these over here to the side. All right, give us three more spirits. Then we'll clarify with the tarot. All right. We got signals. Courage and healing. Hmm. Now you went from 32 to 42 to 10. It's 
something is coming into alignment. Now, these signals does tell you to pay attention to the red flags, as well as the signs and synchronicities that I've been telling you about. This 34 to 32 to 34 is again telling you something is coming into alignment, ending with healing. And number 19, a new beginning. Look at the divine fact, masculine and feminine working together. On the battlefield, y'all. On the battlefield. Now you got three, three, and a magician, which is one. Okay. Now what's going on here? We got the lovers and the higher friend. These two always together. The ace and the queen of swords. It's like I can't keep them apart. <laughs> What's going on with them? doing a pre-shuffle a couple and I did see a story in regards to uh, somebody finding some receipts in regards to their significant other could be a husband spouse in regards to somebody in the neighborhood Could be in your neighborhood, near you. That's gonna have them up in their head, just like this feeling left out in the cold. Because you have the three of pentacles first, then you have the three of heart. I mean, three of swords, which is second. And the three of pentacles is the community card. This is telling you to pay attention to the red flags. With the magician. Some trickery going on. However, there's a matter of the heart. With healing. Now, this could have happened in the past. Now, I do look like somebody's going to uh, have retribution in regards to this situation. Now, this sacrifice could just be telling you not to sacrifice yourself, your wholeness. If this was some type of infidelity that was going on. Now, this kind of keep coming out. So, I guess spirit want me to put it out. Now, this could be some competing cycle, something that continuously go keep going on, but I think it's coming to an end with this number 13 here. Now, your intuition may be telling you something about this because you got the signals right next to this. Now, I don't want y'all to take away from what I previously said about the cards because that part of the story is not going to be for everybody. Now, all that I said before I got to this, that still applies. But 
But I keep seeing this story keep coming out. And if I don't put it out, it's going to keep coming out, y'all. So I got to put it out. It keep coming up in the park. Now, this could have something to do with addictions and drinking and stuff like that right there. Somebody making the wrong choice. Blame it on the alcohol. Keep hearing that. Now you could see this as 333 three, three, cuz this is a 1 and this is a 2. But it look like somebody about to move on. There you go. Some discovery. I'm going to put that on that. In regards to this community. And it's lovers. Now somebody might confront somebody. Because I told you that Queen of Swords and that Queen of Wands keep showing up next to each other. I can't separate them. Now, this magician could be a lot of gossip. You know, trying to pull the wool over your eyes and things of that nature. Making you think that you're delusional. Illusional. I can't even say it. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> yeah, it's complex. Don't got you stressed out. It need to come to an end. Look. Now I see the five of wands and the eight of wands in one instance. Now all these wands, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. Because wands is about communication. However, wands are tangible. Like, within the conflict, was it instruments being used other than words? You understand what I'm saying? It got you stressed. Look, there you go. You can't make it up. This is somebody needing to take a leap of faith to have a new beginning, but there you go. And it's about to be a tower moment if it hasn't already. So somebody can liberate themselves from this situation because it's a lot of trickery. Somebody trying to stab somebody in the back. This situation needs to come to an end. Look. Death ending. But I'm looking at this on the outside and this is in the center of it. Somebody might act foolish. The fool is the fool. He don't think. He just do. Judgment. That's the same thing as retribution. On this three of swords. And signals. Paying attention to the red flag. However, I'm looking at that red cross. I just don't, and sacrifice, I just don't want nobody to get hurt. Because I seen something that was kind of lethal. It got something to do with the relationship. Somebody bread crumbing somebody, but something about to come to the light. In regards to an offer, that's going to have somebody feeling like this. I told you, could have something to do with drinking. Too much partying. Somebody made the wrong choice and should have moved on. Somebody seen somebody as a wish fulfillment. Yeah. They was doing something late at night.
plotting up a scheme. Something going on here. Look, like they're going to pay somebody to do something. Look at this. This is crazy. Y'all, look. You can't make it up. This is all about paying somebody to do something. The sacrifice right there. This is crazy. Look, somebody need to protect yourself and move away from this situation. Look, came right back out next to each other. And the four of wands is on the magician. And this is on the queen of wands. And the ace of cups with healing. So I'm thinking that this queen of swords. I hope I was calling her swords because sometimes I call the swords wands. But I'm thinking that this queen of swords is this outside interference. Now, this could have even been a friend. But I don't know. Something going on here. Yeah. Somebody healing from something. Damn, it keep coming out next to her. Now, how many times is it going to come out next to her? The Queen of Wands. Somebody learned something. Yep. Somebody need to stand up for themselves. Damn. I didn't get it out there good. And here go the tower. Lining up on sacrifice and discovery. In this community with signals. Telling you to pay attention. Here go the eight of wands. And I said, Wordy wants physical things being utilized within this tower. This is something that you can touch. This is like earth. People is doing crazy things. Listen. And remember, that's a casket. Look. That's a lot of conflict. And I think it got something to do with money. In one of these instances. Yeah. That stress is confusion within a relationship. Needing to make a choice to come up out of it. And this Queen of Wands is in conflict. It's like a lot of people coming up against her. A community? And it might have something to do with money. Somebody is holding on. But that tower is about to lose that. <laughs> uh, this year. I don't know when it's going to happen. But this is unexpected income. 
and some type of judgment is being made on this relationship. Yeah, some communication. For this King of Cups, whoever that is. Now that's just the energy. It could just be representing that communication is a matter of the heart. Now, I see a little bit of abuse of power. Now, something could have even happened on a job. You got the eight to the nine. Like, somebody was blindsided by something, but somebody found out about something. It's almost like somebody took a leap of faith to move towards something that was brighter, that left somebody like this. Uh oh, Spirit said, I'm telling the truth. Somebody made somebody else an offer. To have a family with somebody else. Because somebody is sad. And need to move on. And liberate themselves from this situation. Because they in this. Somebody need to move on and have a victory. Look, all these cards are saying move, 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 move. Move. Like somebody want to do something to the Empress? This is weird. Like somebody left somebody that was karmic found out that they wasn't the person they wanted to be with maybe somebody wanted somebody for money could have been some magic going on that had somebody caught up in the illusion I guess it can be so many things. You, you don't be wanting to believe that people actually be out here putting magic on people to try to keep people in a relationship with them. That's ludicrous. <laughs> I mean, who is really that desperate, right? However, even if it's not that situation in regards to somebody within the community, I did start it out with, you know, the energy, trying to keep these relationships from coming together. But that's about to come to an end. See, that's about to come to an end. This is a new relationship coming in. 
and then fell on this and this and this conflict and this. Right over here on this. New beginning, this judgment, this queen of pentacles. But this on the split. Let me see, wait a minute, let me pull the rest of the cards out, y'all. Two more spirits. Man. Alright. <laughs> Man? What? <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's scary, y'all. And I'm just looking at the, um, listening to the car outside revving up. I'm trying to see who's who. So we got five, five, five right here because it was an extra card. This is definitely coming to an end, but this is an end. After this energy, this right here and this right here. Something is definitely in the line because you got the three to the four to the one with the courage. Something is coming full circle. Like somebody need to really heal for something. Now maybe this did happen in the past and somebody already healed from it. I don't know, y'all. This is creepy. This is real creepy. Because that and that together is weird. The devil in the death card? With this? But you got all these fives and then... Now you got all the fives out here. A five, five, five. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Let me pull up from the relationship card. Let's see. 
What's going on, spirit? Damn, I told you I knew it. Look, seduction. Temptation, third party interference. I never pull from these cards, y'all. But somebody's about to get retribution. The mask of this is abundance. Now, the mask is coming off. Now, this is not showing true feelings. Hide. Shit. Listen, these people can't all right. Personality, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Somebody is asked to keep a positive mindset. Listen. Now you got the coughing and girl talking. I said that something was going on with gossip. Something coming to an end. And they got a, a tower with this lightning. However, you got healing heart. Phoenix rising from the fire. There's a lot going on in this reading. I told you somebody had evidence. With the camera. Somebody found out. Because I seen the receipts. And stabbed in the back. And I told you it could have been a friend. Somebody was in the community. And that's keep coming back. Lightning. It might, this probably didn't even happen yet. the snake and you got the chaser codependency somebody needing to let go somebody was seeing this person was a snake all the time but they wanted to stay now this says mirror each other's relationships reflect on wounds introspection Somebody really need to take a good look at this. And this keep showing up gossip. I told you, it's some type of friend. I feel it. Keep coming up. I'm putting this daggone thing out because I'm tired of it. Keep coming up. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Golf it. Keep coming back. <laughs> But this ending is going to bring in some abundance. Girl talk. It gives y'all the, the hammer. Look. Kisses. Many options. Yeah. The runner. Karmic relationship. All right, y'all. That's all I got for this. This is a hot, hot, hot mess. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Hit the like button.